everyone and welcome back to my channel! As you could see it of course from the thumbnail, today we're going to make a Lana Del Rey doll. And you know, I think it's pretty normal. After making all this huge scene in Divas, I've made already Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Melanie Martinez, Billie Eilish. I think right now it would be quite normal to continue this collection with a Lana Del Rey doll. And you know, me personally, I'm a huge fan of Lana Del Rey already for many years. I know it's quite strange to say for many years, but the time really flies and we've been to her concert here in Brussels in Belgium with my husband, I don't know how many years ago, it was her 2012 or 2013, it was her Born to Die tour. So I'm really a fan of Lana already for many, many, many years. And today it's finally time to make a Lana Del Rey doll. So if you're also Lana's fan, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell button, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And right now I'm going to dive into this transformation. It's going to be fun. As a canvas for my doll, I have chosen this Barbie Fashionista doll. I know, she doesn't look like Lana at all right now, but I think she has some hidden potential. But you know, it's actually one of my most favorite things in the whole process. Looking at Barbie faces, trying to find the one who could in theory turn into someone famous and someone recognizable. It feels like you really need to go through all the doll's features, like analyze all the face molds, trying to find some I don't know, hidden possibilities in them. So right now let's remove everything she wears and then we'll cut her green hair off. Now let's warm up the head with a hair dryer, the hot air will make the rubber soft and then I will be able to take the head off without damaging the neck. And after this I'm going to take pure acetone and I will remove her original face. And please don't forget, it's still very toxic, very flammable and just extremely dangerous even to stay next to it. I want to give my Lana this saran hair because I think it's very close to her hair color right now. It's dark brown with some a little bit red subtone, so I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. But first of all, I'm going to cover the head with a couple of layers of dark brown acrylics matching the new hair color. And then I'm taking my rerouting tool and I'm going to give this doll new hair. 
This job will take of course a couple of hours, sometimes I'm busy with it even for two days, but you know there is no other way to reroute doll hair faster. So this is how it looks in the end after working on it for a while and right now I'm going to add tacky glue inside of the head to keep all this new rerouted hair on its place. Approximately 48 hours later the glue gets completely dry and it means I can finally spray the surface with a couple of layers of this toxic and dangerous Mr. Super Clear sealant. And after this I will take my watercolor pencils and I will try to make this doll, I don't know, to look at least a little bit like Lana Del Rey.
This doll has a regular fashionista body and you know it already probably that I absolutely hate these stiff bodies because even with a very realistic face our doll would look just like, I don't know, like a dummy on pictures and that's why I will replace it with this amazing made to move body because it can really pose like a pro on all pictures so let's now quickly remove this doll's outfit remove her hat and after this we'll make Lana's outfit So, and now it's time to talk about her outfit and I can tell you honestly it was not easy to choose one of them to recreate because Lana Del Rey has, I don't know, dozens of amazing breathtaking looks like for example, I don't know, from this born to die period you can take just all of them all of them are amazing, all this aesthetic, just breathtaking or like this white dress from uh, the Love single, amazing, white la lace dress here with uh, white flowers in her hair. But after all, I've decided to recreate a quite recent Lana's look and this is a look that we can see in the Gucci campaign. I'm really a huge fan of this look, I'm a huge fan of this green jumpsuit, her hair, all the accessories, really amazing. I adore this a little bit retro aesthetics and I don't know, if I was that kind of a person who spends this amount of money on outfit, I would probably even, I don't know, at least go try this green jumpsuit on. By the way, I've seen Jeffree Star wearing it also last week I think on his Instagram, so I think it's a really iconic look. I think it really represents Lana's a little bit retro 60s, 70s aesthetic perfectly. It's maybe a little bit difficult to make because there, is, there are lots of tiny details in this jumpsuit, but I really want to go for this look and I'm going to use this kind of green fabric to recreate it. So wish me luck let's start making the gucci jumpsuit <laughs> so first of all i'm going to make a pair of flare pants And it looks very good to me. So now let's also make the top part of the jumpsuit and then we'll put them together.
Okay, now we can finally connect the top and the bottom and here it's very important to match the front and the side seams of both of the details. Now let's also add a collar and after this I will attach two pockets to the front of the top. The original jumpsuit, it also has two pockets on the pants, but I'm going to skip those because, you know, otherwise the fabric on her hips, it would look way too thick. It would, I don't know, look like some worker's pants with, with side pockets or something like this. But anyway, I think even with these front pockets on the top of this jumpsuit, it will be enough to make the outfit 100% recognizable. So I think the jumpsuit looks absolutely stunning already now, but I still need to add a fabric belt with a special Gucci logo buckle. The belt I've made already here, quickly off camera, and now let's make the buckle using Warbler thermoplastic. This time I'm working with really tiny details, so I don't even need my hair dryer to warm it up because a regular hair straightener does this job as well. After this I cover the belt with acrylics and I also add a layer of glossy acrylic varnish on top of it. Under the jumpsuit, Lana wears a very original top. It matches her skin color and it's also heavily decorated with some sparkles or rhinestones, something like this. And you know, it really reminds me some outfits of professional dancers or figure skating or, you know, some gymnastic girls. 
I think it brings some extra funky vibe from the 70s to this look. So let's make the same top out of this mesh because it seems like its color matches the doll skin color. So here is the top and now I'm going to decorate it with glitter using regular tacky glue. Well, it looks pretty cool, I think, and it's also pretty similar to the original picture. So now let's make a hole between the doll's fingers and then I will fix the fabric on another side of the hand, because this is how the original top has been made. Okay, now I still need to style her hair and first of all I'm going to make it straight and you know like hanging down because right now her hair is just looking all directions. And then I will make curls and give it some volume and you know some style.
can also see a hair clip with a Gucci logo on it on this original picture. So let's recreate it as well out of Warbler. So now we're almost done, I still want to glue a pair of earrings to her ears and after this I will add a touch of glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. To complete the look I've chosen this pair of shoes and I think they look almost like the original ones, like the ones on the pictures. So and here we go! Say hello to my mini version of Lana Del Rey! Now all the details they seem to be on their places and even this mini sofa that I bought probably two months ago without any special purpose it has suddenly become the ideal final element of this composition. I'm also very proud of her outfit today. This is probably the most difficult and the most sophisticated piece of clothes I've ever made in my life. And I can tell you honestly, I didn't dare even to start working on it for a couple of days, for sure, almost for a week, because it all seemed a bit too complicated. And you know, when your goal is to create a mini version of a Gucci outfit, for $4,300, you know, you kind of start feeling a little bit nervous. But look at it now, even Jeffree Star would be jealous. By the way, guys, do you follow this new Shane and Jeffree series? I was just shocked by the amounts of money announced in the second episode. Of course, of course, with this money you can buy everything in the Gucci store and the jumpsuit of $4,000 and everything. But anyway, thank God I can make my own Gucci when I need it. So, this doll together with the sofa and with the Gucci and with everything, it will be available on eBay like always for three days. The link is in the description box and if you feel like you need the mini Lana Del Rey in your life, then go and check it out. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, subscribe to my channel of course, hit the bell button and I will see you already very soon next week Friday in my new doll paint video. Love you guys, bye!